Hey guys, it's Mia and today I have a fun, different kind of video for you. So I keep seeing people do things like the colors that you're eating for 24 hours on YouTube and I didn't want to just do like a color necessarily. So what I decided to do instead, because it's fall, I'm going to do eating everything pumpkin seasonally. So like pumpkin and pumpkin spice are going to be all day today. All the food I eat is either going to have pumpkin in it or pumpkin spice like seasonings in it to make it a pumpkin-y fall dish. So I'm gonna kind of take you guys along with me for that and you can see what I'm doing. I thought this would be a fun idea. Hopefully it's interesting for you guys. I'm pretty excited to eat pumpkin spice. I'm gonna be real honest because I love pumpkin spice. I'm obsessive and that's my best season and as soon as it hits September 1st, I have prepared with all the pumpkin spice August 30th and I'm just ready and then it hits September 1st and it's all coming out. I'm just, and I'm just using it. So I thought I might as well film a video of me doing just that for 24 hours. Although I will say I'm a little nervous because I, I was planning this out last night because I don't just want to eat all sweet food. I think that'll be hard to eat all sweet food today. Plus I'm super busy so it's going to be hard to fit in cooking for this video. But I'm going to do it anyways for you guys, for your entertainment. And hopefully you get some ideas out of this that you can do with pumpkin. If you are an obsessive fall pumpkin lover like myself. So... For breakfast, I'm going to make my keto waffle, but I'm going to make it with pumpkin. And so I'm going to make like a pumpkin spice keto waffle. I'll show you guys obviously as I do that and then top it with some cinnamon apples for some carbs just because I am going to the gym. And throughout this video, I'm going to show some different products that I found that are keto products that are pumpkin spice or products in general that are pumpkin spice but still have keto macros, so they may not necessarily be keto, but they have the right macros, so I can show them to you. Um, but yeah, that'll be the video for today, so I'll get you started with my breakfast here. I am going to the gym after breakfast, so I'm eating like a smaller-ish breakfast. Uh, it's still gonna be a reasonable calorie amount, but less food volume. But yeah, we're gonna get started with breakfast now that I have my outfit put together to go to the gym after this. I'm gonna wear probably like some Nike socks and tennis shoes and then just kill it in the gym after this. So let's get started with breakfast. Okay, so you guys saw the finished waffle. She looks glorious. She's beauty. She has grace. Yeah, but this waffle has some of this Kite Hill yogurt just drizzled on about 10 grams. Um, then I have about 5 grams of plain almond butter drizzled on. A sprinkling of pumpkin pie spice. And then this is actually purely Elizabeth grain-free granola. And this is the pumpkin spice one that they made. I think they made it last year. This is from last year. I put it in a mason jar so it would last. Um, and so I just sprinkled five grams of that on, so not even half of the serving, just for a little crunch. Obviously my apples are on top. They've been stewed and cooked down, so this smells so good. And to go with that, for my first product thing of this, other than I guess the Purely Elizabeth Granola, is this is a actual keto coffee brand. So it's Keto Super Coffee, and they made a sweet and creamy maple pumpkin flavor. It is 70 calories, 200 milligrams of caffeine, 10 grams of protein, three carbs, one fiber, so two net carbs, and 2.5 fats. Um, with that, there is 510 milligrams of potassium in there, so that's pretty neat. And then you can see the ingredients there if it'll let you focus on it. MCT monk fruit extract, so there's no erythritols that are gonna upset your stomach. There's no sucralose, no bad sweeteners. It is literally just monk fruit. This is actually one of my favorite brands to go. Not to mention the entire bottle is only 70 calories, and this is on par with the taste of a Starbucks Frappuccino. So I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna enjoy these for our first pumpkin-y thing of the day, and then I'm gonna hit the gym. Woo, I can do this. <laughs> I just finished my breakfast. Well, it's been half an hour since I finished my breakfast. It's 11.20 right now. I had my breakfast at 10, 15 or so is when I started eating it. 
and then I eat kind of slow and I was doing homework at the same time. Sorry, I was on my toes, that's why I look taller. But anywho, so I had this super, super good. It's so creamy. It had a nice pumpkin-y flavor. It reminded me of fall, which was great. So yeah, I have so much energy right now. So I'm gonna go hit the gym, get strong. It's gonna be a leg day because yesterday I was not feeling good. So I only lifted arms because it was easier at the time. Everyone knows arms is easier, but I did that instead. So today I'm going to hit legs because I need to, uh, gotta get these glutes built, folks. So I'm going to leave. I'll probably be an hour lifting and then a half an hour stretching. But after that, I am going to go over to my school because I need to pick up my book for my college class. I just finished my math homework while I was having breakfast, so my algebra is done. And then after I get my book from the school, I have to go back out again to the other side of town and get the other pumpkin things I need for this video for you guys because I was unprepared and I didn't shop this weekend about it because I just decided I was going to do this last night. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Yeah, I will go pick up that pumpkin stuff and then I'll start cooking my lunch. So hopefully I am not dying of hunger by the time. If I am, then I'll put in some pumpkin snack and show you guys. But I may bring the camera with me, I may not. I probably won't film in the gym because it's just awkward. That's the plan, Stan. So let's get my hair up and get out of here. Okay, so my camera is not having it. It won't let me put me it won't let me put it on the dash. Um, so I just got done in the gym. I'm outside of the gym right now. Got it done. I'm so like done with life. I'm tired. No, whatever. We still we still have energy. We're good to go. We got this day. My brain is everywhere. I am very behind. It is 1.15 right now. I still need to pick up my class book. I need to go to the store. I need to drop off money at the bank and then come home and cook my entire lunch. So my goal of getting home at two is not going to happen. Lunch is probably going to happen around three, three 30 per usual, but, uh, yeah, we'll see where I get. Hopefully I can get home pretty soon here and someone is staring at me. So I'm going to go. <laughs> okay. I'm home from the grocery store. Uh, I got the stuff that I needed for dinner and for the lunch I'm going to make right now. Well, lunch at 301. I'm gonna make a turkey pumpkin chili soup thing. It's gonna be lighter. I'm gonna put pumpkin pie spice in the chili as well. Pumpkin pie spice to turkey because I think poultry will go well with the seasoning better than like ground beef would. I'm gonna put that in the pan, cook it up, and I'll show you guys when it's done. Get a head in the back, reaching for the phone when they scared and fell in the tank. Young world looking low on my past. Said the low man wins. I got my nose in the grass. Trying to show the kids the way, but do it all with some class. Yeah. It's like soup. There's like tomato, zucchini. Um, pumpkin spice, canned pumpkin. Like this. I was gonna add little pumpkin chunks, and then I realized it was butternut squash, which is not Never the same thing. So I just, like I just added the pumpkin puree, and then a ton of pumpkin spice seasoning. I so I'm gonna put it in the like bowl this. and eat this for my lunch. Yum! It looks really gross, but hopefully it tastes good. From what I tried in the pot, it tasted pretty good, um, but I didn't try it with everything in it. And the, I probably dumped a full tablespoon or two of pumpkin pie spice in here. You can tell that the base of it is pumpkin soup because normally when you have chili, it's, it's thick, but it's thick from tomato paste. This is thick from, thick from tomato soup and it's orange. Like, yes, there's red chunks of tomato, but it, it's orange. It smells like cinnamon and pumpkin pie and everything. And I'm really happy about it. Okay. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Weirdly enough, and this came together so fast. I got here at 3.05 or whatever that I started making it, and it's 3.17. So I got it done in 12 minutes, but it's just ground turkey, onions, garlic, a lot of pumpkin pie spice, a lot of pureed pumpkin, canned tomato, zucchini. Yeah, and that's it. So I'm gonna enjoy this, and then I'm really not that hungry, so I'll eat this, and I'll follow up if I do have something sweet, but I'm really not feeling it right now, so I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I had one bowl, and now I'm gonna have another bowl because I'm still hungry, and my camera's going everywhere, so I'm just keep doing this because I can see my friend over there, and she's watching, and I'm uncomfortable. But uh, I'm gonna eat this second bowl of soup, and uh, I don't know if I'll have a cheesecake later because I just got hungry. Like, for sub notes, an hour after when I had the first bowl, but I'm hungry again, so I'm gonna have another one. I can't finish things without sweet food, as everyone already knows. So I'm gonna have one of these pumpkin cheesecakes. I might only have half of it, because I've eaten a lot today, so I probably shouldn't eat the whole thing, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna eat, <laughs> I'm gonna eat some pumpkin cheesecake. And they're so cute, look, I put them in my, in my mold, my Wilson mold that I got, and they have little faces on them. I'm gonna have half of that, and uh, yeah, it counts as pumpkin, double pumpkin, because it's pumpkin cheesecake, 
and it's keto. I made it from a recipe. It's gonna be on my blog hopefully soon. It's not yet. I haven't even photographed it. Hopefully I can save one to photograph before I eat them all. Um, but then they're shaped as pumpkin too, so double pumpkin. I'm gonna roast this pumpkin for dinner. I got it at the grocery store, so it is like a food safe pumpkin. I don't know if there's not food safe pumpkins, but I'm gonna roast this baby, so I have it for dinner. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm not really sure how you cook a pumpkin. I'm gonna cook this off and try my best. Yeah, you extra. I shouldn't even take the time to go text you. But at the same time, I hope you get the message. I know you all here, so I ain't trying to press you. Nah, I hope you understand this ain't the plan. And catch yourself when you fall again. Cause, girl, I know you in love with that fast life. But don't let that be the reason you can't act right. You on Twitter, steady talking about your past life. You're hoping that they retweet or they match like. And you've been living out of place, living like you in a race. Never moving at your pace. Trying to please everybody, put the man in your face. So if it's like that, I'd rather be away Cause I'm thinking if I stay Then you'll probably be replaced And ain't enough time To be dealing with your ways Nah, look I am not the one I am not the one To be lashing out To be acting out We can get together We can hash it out Tell me what that's about Yeah, look Hey, look at me when I talk to you Yeah, just like a Dutch I can spark the truth But I know you ain't even trying to hear that Out of control, girl You can't even steer that I give you all you want You always turn up This is the completed meal. I made cauliflower potato thingies, potatoes, I guess I should say, because I saw a recipe for uh, pumpkin mashed potatoes, but we don't really eat potatoes in our house because we're lower carb. So I have cauliflower and I just like subbed it up myself. So I made up this recipe. It's got pumpkin, cauliflower, bacon, bacon grease, and then some pecans to top. This is roasted pumpkin from that giant pumpkin you saw me take care of. And then this is a chicken thigh that I crisped up in my air fryer with pumpkin pie spice. So everything has pumpkin in it. And actually the potatoes, instead of using heavy cream, I used an unsweetened pumpkin spice almond milk creamer and they taste so good. They look like sweet potato and they taste like sweet potato. So this is definitely a recipe to try, I would say. I'm gonna try to maybe put it on my website in the next couple days here because it's actually really good and I did not think it was going to taste that good. So I'm going to sit and have this and then you'll see my pumpkin dessert if I have one and I'm not sick of pumpkin yet. <laughs> so I finished dinner. Um, obviously I showered and I changed, hence why I look different and I don't have makeup on. But uh, I'm going to have my dessert treat, whatever now. So I have a pumpkin spice tea bag here. And into that, I'm gonna add just a splash of creamer. So it's made in water, but I'm gonna add a splash of this unsweetened almond creamer from Silk. I've tried this before, it's super good. And it's zero carb, 1.5 fat, zero protein, just because it doesn't have any sweetener at all in it. So I'll put that in. And it's got a super strong, nice pumpkin-y flavor, which you'd think that it needs the sweetness for, and it really doesn't. It really holds up on its own, so. There's that. And then for my treat, I'm going to do like a mix of things. So I have this nutty pumpkin bread from Base Culture. I'm pretty sure this women owned brand, but it's 18 carb, three fiber, five protein, 10 fat for one sixth of the loaf and then 180 calories. I'm gonna eat a bite probably because I have other stuff. So I'm only gonna have like a little, little bite of this. Then, of course, the Pumpkin Spice Perfect Bar. And no, this is not keto. This is not even low carb. It's 19 net carbs, 23 total carb, four fiber. And it's pretty high calorie because it's a meal replacement bar. So I'm going to have a quarter of this, so only 0.25. Probably a of a serving of the pumpkin bread because I'm going to have some pumpkin spice. Oh, pumpkin spice latte enlightened. I put it in my freezer and I smashed the container, hence why uh, it looks like that. Sorry about that but I have not tried this one before. So, one second. Um, <laughs> that's really underwhelming. I don't think that's right. It's literally halfway full, mom. 
You just bought that new? I just bought it. I feel like somebody ate it and put it back on the thing. No, it was completely sealed with this thing. Well, then you got robbed. I don't want to sell it. I think I did get robbed. Really ridiculous. But we're going to try it anyways. We'll try it on camera. Mmm. That is pumpkin-y. That's really pumpkin-y. It's got like, you really can't see because of all these ice crystals. Hold up. I'm gonna scoop them off so you can see the ice cream. It has full swirls of pumpkin in there, which look super tasty. Yeah, if I pull out some, you can see. It's super creamy. And it has a really, really spiced flavor. The swirls are really spiced, but the ice cream is also super creamy super pumpkiny it kind of tastes like there's a little coffee in the swirl but i don't actually see anything that says that there's coffee in it so i guess not obviously ingredients aren't great <laughs> but non-gmo soluble corn fiber tapioca syrup glycerin mono and disaccharides no diglycerides are not my favorite ingredients. Neither is caramel color or cornstarch because caramel color is a carcinogen, but I don't eat this often. So drink my tea and then try these other little pumpkin-y things. I will say this loaf of bread is super dense. I've had it before. It's really nutty, flavorful, super good. And then same thing on this perfect bar, super tasty. Please like the video, subscribe down below. It helps the group to grow, the family to grow. And if you did like this video, comment down below what kind of video you want to see me make next. Either maybe eating one color for the entire day, like I said in the beginning, I've seen people do. Or if there's a flavor that you think would be good. I'm, I'm thinking maybe for winter, just eating mints and chocolate things, which is going to mean that I'm going to eat a lot of sweet things. And then I'm probably going to have to cook lamb for other things to make like a chocolate mint sauce. I don't know. We'll think about it. But comment down below what you want to see. And I'll put it out there for you guys. Okay.